Hello everyone, my name is Arupind and um, I'm, I work with Informatica support and today I will be demonstrating how you can leverage the key range partitions from within the Informatica's test data management 9.5.2 HF2. With the key range partitions, you will be able to increase the performance by specifying uh, partitions based on the keys that you have in your system. The agenda for today's demo is this. To begin with, let's start off with assigning a rule to a project. Once that rule is assigned, the next step is to assign the rule to a port. And uh, once we have assigned it to a port, I will go ahead and uh, create a plan. And today, we will be spending the bulk of the time in specifying the kind of partition. And uh, we will be, we'll be mostly looking at the key range partitioning. And once that is done, we will generate a workflow and let's see how the partitions are being reflected inside of power center. You are seeing now what we call as the Informatica's test data management workbench. This is a simple, easy to use web based graphical user interface. As you can see, I have created a project called as key underscore partition. And I also have the data source, which is called as a Manika C that has been imported into the project. In addition to this, I have also created a policy called as key masking and uh, I have imported that policy into the project as well. Now that I have imported the policy onto the project, the next step is to go ahead and assign the policy to a particular port. So let me go ahead and quickly assign the policy or the rule to a particular port. So let me assign it and uh, clicking on this tick mark would uh, help me in assigning the rule to that particular port. The next step is to go ahead and execute a plan. So this plan is what we call or this is the one that will help you tie the different masking and subsetting pieces together. And uh, it is in this where you can specify the properties that you will be providing inside of the workflow manager. Let me name it as plan underscore key range partition and let me give the description as well the demo description is demo for key range partition and i can choose the masking components for this demonstration we just have one masking component which is called as the key masking and we don't have any subset components so as i click on the masking components then i can click next here i should be able to see the source and the targets I can specify any source or any target. So I'm going to choose the source and uh, let me also choose the target. Once I choose the source and the target, I should be able to generate the workflow. So this workflow will be present inside of power center and um, uh, you, can, you can leverage the power center features like enable high precision and uh, target schema name, source schema name without even logging into power center. As I click next, now I will have the option or now I have the cap capability to create or specify the key range partitions. As I click on this, I can click on enable partition tab. To specify key range, prop key range partition for a particular source, I need to click on the source name. Then I need to click on this override data source settings checkbox, which will enable me to have enable partitioning option on. If I uncheck this, this option will be unchecked by itself. So to have partitioning, it is imperative for you to have this override data source setting options on. So if I click on enable partitions, I should be able to see the key range partitionings. So let me give it as three and clicking on select will provide me with multiple options to specify the range. Let me say one through thousand in here and let me say thousand and one through two thousand in here and let me say two thousand and one through 3000 in here. I need to click on this tick, uh, tick box so so as to save it or just pressing an enter will not save it. Uh, so let me re-enter it again. So this has now, now I have added three partitions. Let me go ahead and quickly save it and let me go ahead and quickly generate the workflow. Now once I generate the workflow I should be able to see those three partitions inside of my workflow manager 
have clicked on the workflow, let's see and verify how TDM generates the key range partitions. Now you can see that the key range partition plan that we created has been generated successfully. Let's log into the workflow manager and let's see how TDM has successfully created the workflow and also has bought in the partitions in here. So if you see, I can see um, the same folder called ski underscore partition and I can also see the same plan called key range partition. So let me drag it on to the right pane on double clicking it. I should be able to see how successfully has TDM generated the mapping and you can also see the partitions that are bought into the equation. So you can see that we have three partitions and they are all um, intact. And this brings us to the end of the demonstration. So if you have any other questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact us. We'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you and you have a great day. And if you have any feedback, we would be more than happy to hear from you. Uh, for feedbacks, you can reach out to us at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can also uh, reach us at Twitter and our Twitter handle is uh, twitter.com slash infosupport. You all have a wonderful day and thanks for listening to the video. Thank you. Take care. Bye.